impacting our children today. Yes, that's they are, I mean, a lot of them comes to me with uh, what you call automatic writing here in America. Mm -hmm. Messed up. So finally there was a price. There was a price. So, but he drew you in, but finally he said, if you want to continue to experience these things, there's yes. something you have to do. What was that? You need to understand everyone who's involved into the occult, there is a price to pay. That price, first of all. A lot of time they're going to ask you to give a human being sacrifice. Mm. In Africa, when you go and see a witch doctor who does not uh, ask you for money, know that to the end, even these people who are in Hollywood and have a big position and even some basketball players, they have sold their soul to Satan so they can have success and power. So what's happened? They requested. The man requested to say, I need a living, a living being sacrificed. Things that I have not probably shared here because my testimony, I'm very careful when I'm sharing because okay. he have created me a lot of problems and a lot of attacks. So, but the bottom line is that he said, it's time for you to commit your soul to who? To, to Satan. To, did he say Satan? Did he well, say he Lucifer? won't tell you Satan. They will draw you with beautiful words, yeah. which doctors sometimes they can even use the Bible. They have the Bible there. Mm -hmm. You're going to think it's coming really from God, but it's just to, to manipulate you and mm -hmm. get to suck you with sweet word. Mm. Wow. And, um, and finally, I... Uh, Give so I sold my soul to Satan, but they are conditioned. They were conditioned that I wasn't supposed to eat pork meat. I ate pork meat. I wind up crazy out of my mind. For three years and a half, 24 hours, I could not sleep. I became retarded. That's how I used to be, like this. <laughs> saliva all over the places. My face, Sister Johnny, was coming to my neck place. My knee place was coming to my face place. That's mean the way I'm s sitting here, I will see you, but uh, three different, uh, uh, three vision. But the person, no, no, the, if, if I'm sitting like this, I won't see you. I will see the person behind me. Okay, well, don't move. When Table Talk returns, Pastor Humbe's dramatic deliverance will be right back. Spirit that they call Jini, like Ayatollah Khomeini. Mm. He's a kind of man who, have, man who have the ability to see what will come. So this particular person had a spirit. So he told me, say, okay, now it's time that you have to make a covenant with our master. First of all, they know that you are a Christian. You believe in Jesus. They don't want to tell you to make covenant with Satan. They won't say no Satan. They won't say no Lucifer. Until, because when you start in a cult or witchcraft, they'll go with you lulu by lulu. First of all, they'll go with you through the word. And then when you get higher, and then that's when you're going to see things that you, you have not seen before. Mm -hmm. So he told me, say, okay, uh, going to give a covenant. Covenant with who? Well, with our master. You know, and that time, because I was perishing for the lack of knowledge, the Bible say, my people are perishing for the lack of knowledge. Yes, that's, right. that's how I encourage you, you the one who are watching. Read the word from yes. Genesis to Revelation. God will reveal you things so that talks about the occult and witchcraft, and this God will give you the opportunity for you to repent. God does not take pleasure for the dead of the wicked. God wants you. That's one of the reasons he came down here on earth. Not for good people, for people like you who are lost completely into the occult. That's the nice. devil will yeah. give you success. He will give you money. He will give you fame. He will give you popularity, but after that, mm -hmm. he, will come he will be after your soul. That's why we're seeing a lot of people in a mental institution. That's why we're seeing a lot of people with incurable problem. It's because they got themselves rooted into the occult. And I did that. And uh, finally, I received a spirit. I got baptized. I received a spirit they called genie. And before I could invoke the spirit, I have to drink perfume. 
bottle of perfume. I drink, I do not know how many bottles of perfume to invoke the spirit. And Sister Johnny, when the spirit will descend, the spirit will start now. Uh, 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 it was a more divination. People will come to me when I was in, in Belgium. They will come to me. I'll be predicting and telling them things. But they did not know the secret because those who are in your court, psychic, medium, palm reader, do not let them lie to you. They do not know anything about the future. The future belongs to God. Mm -hmm. So, but what they're doing, it's just try to get in touch with your human being spirit. That's why when you go sometime, you'll see it'll be a time of silence. And they have a, a crystal ball a lot of times. Something to distract you. But what are they really doing? They are trying to communicate with a human being spirit. Because your human being spirit, according to the scripture, it knows everything about you. Your present, your past, your future. Is that the same as a familiar spirit? Yes. Okay. It will communicate and tell them everything. Oh, right. this is a humble. So those spirits are talking to one another. And exactly. that's what they're, they're tuning into, not Holy Spirit. But not Holy spirit. spirit, an so, evil spirit. So the pork, you were prohibited from eating pork. Pork meat. So you went to a friend's house, and unbeknownst to you, there was pork in the meal? Yes. And you I ate I went it. to see a friend in Belgium. He cooked, uh, you know, in Africa, we have a special dish that makes a lot of uh, meat. Mm -hmm. So I asked him, what did you cook? He said, well, I cook uh, chicken and beef. And I said, okay. When they ate, that's where my struggle started. And so what mm. happened after you ate the pork? Uh, when I ate pork, that's when so my So you make a deal with the was. devil, he follows mm. through to, to, oh, yes. to destroy you in the oh, end, yes. right? The gift of God is without repentance, but the gift of the devil is with big repentance. Yes. You will pay the price. The yes. devil, if you disobey, there is no other alternative except death, suffering, pain. So what happened? And I got sick. That's when I went out of my mind, crazy. How long after you had that meal did, oh, did it well, start occurring? It did not just when I had that meal, I stopped feeling funny. Mm. And then the next day, that's when I wind up sick, crazy man. Really? And so now what, what, what was your family saying? They had to know something had happened to you. Well, my family that time, they were in, 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 in Congo. I was in Belgium going to university and uh, doing medical school and they did not have no other alternative. I went in this uh, tropical hospital. They found that I had bone cancer and uh, they did everything, could not help. One of my daddy's friend decided to send me to Washington, D.C., George Washington University Hospital mm -hmm. for my treatment. So now how long did you have cancer when you made the trip to America? Uh, I, uh, it was uh, just, it was probably a couple months. And it was so bad to a point that doctors said that I was going to die with it. So you get on a plane, and yeah. what happened? Got on a plane, going to Washington, D.C., got there, going to George Washington Hospital. Things did not work. My situation was getting worse and worse and worse and worse to a point that decided to go back home on the plane. That's where I met my miracle. God, if God want to bless you, he will use a human being. No, when no. Satan want to curse you, he will use a human, human being. being. So when That's you right. got on wow. the plane after they couldn't do anything for you, it was to go back to home, go back home to, to Congo go die. to die. To die. Okay, so you're on the plane. Who did God send? Uh, one of the reasons they told me uh, for going back is say, you know, to ship a dead body costs more, is more expensive than shipping, okay. than sending a, 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 a life body. So... It's almost dead. <laughs> yes, I was almost yes. dead. On the plane, I met with this white, beautiful woman of God, Sister Barbara Casual. She prophesied in my life. Uh, she looked at me straight in the eyes. She said, from this day, you are being set free to serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The anointing and the power of the Holy mm -hmm. Ghost is upon you. The Lord will heal you back in your country or bring you back to America. God will use you in the higher dimension in the area of deliverance. And that's Ooh. when, and he, she looked at me again, the most important thing, he said, you know what, son, uh, if you go to Mecca today, Muhammad's tomb is still occupied. But I got the good news, if you go to Israel, Jesus' tomb is empty, yes. the yes. power of resurrection. Yes. He excited me, and that's when I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Ooh, and wow. that was the real turning point, so, but yes. the battle wasn't over. Oh, no, no, the battle was because not over. Because you had opened the door to yes. demonic spirits. Exactly. And so, when you got back to Africa, what happened and, and, and who did God send to help bring the total deliverance? Yes, so I got saved, accepted Christ. It does not mean that that was the time I got my deliverance. You need to understand that every kind of sin that you're committing down here, there is a price to pay. I will encourage you not to let nobody 